I'm very excited about this next section. This one is about fields. I love fields. With fields, if you link it, the text is going to come to you. So I use fields and tables in AutoCAD to get specific data from my objects and then to do calculations for me. Now, we'll talk about the calculations part in another chapter, but yes, AutoCAD can be automated to make calculations for you, and you use fields to do that. So a field is a link in your text object, which could be a dimension, a table, multi-leader, or text, and it will display information about another object, system setting, or some sort of variable. They're used frequently with sheet sets and title blocks, but they can also be used anywhere else that there's text except in a tolerance in the dimension settings. So open up the movie house example file. Now say we need to know and to note the square footage of the footing for this building. That's this guy right here. Now we can easily select the polygon, read what the property manager tells us about the area and type that into our notes. What if though we make a change and it's now bigger or smaller? I don't wanna type it in either. So let's let AutoCAD do the work. Start an M text object. Just put the note right here. And you want to insert a field. Now you can do that in one of a couple of ways. You can come right up here and click on the field button. You can right click and go to the insert field option right here. Or my preferred method is to just press control F. This will bring up your field dialog box. Now you can see there's a lot of different types of things here where you can gather information from. And there are several different categories. I rarely use the all because there's just too many of them. You can go to date and time and it will create the date and the time, the plot date, a lot of different things. You can set it up for different formatting and it will display this bit of information all the time. That's one thing. Another thing you can do here is the document. I use this one a lot for file names. If I wanna display what the file name is, I can do that here as well. I can also find subjects, titles, things like that that are tied to the file itself. Now the link, I can display a hyperlink here, or objects, which is one that I use very often. And if I click on the object, and this is the one we want right now, click on the object. This is to get information from an object inside your file, something you've drawn. So I select the object category, and I come up here to this little target button. I click it, and I find the object I want. In this case, it's this polygon. I select it, and then here are all the different options of information that I can display. I want to display the area. So here's the area. Well, this isn't exactly how I want it to look. It's kind of difficult to see. I'm going to put it in architectural. And when I do that, it shows me a lot of different things. It's in square foot. If I go to engineering, fractional, current units, decimal, whatever it is I want to show. Well, I don't like all these zeros on here. And I just want it rounded up. So I'm just going to round there, no zeros. And I want to put in some additional formatting. So if I want to convert this to something, I can. Right now it's in square inches. So I want to convert that to square feet. So I'll go divide it by 12. And here's a preview of what it's going to look like. I can add a prefix or a suffix and say square feet. And you see here, you're going to need to put a space there. Otherwise, it's going to put it right up against your number. And I want to have number separators. I want to use a comma. And it's going to go right here because that's the way we do this where I'm at. We use commas for those numbers. But there are other options. You can do a period or just a single quote, whichever formatting that you want to use, you can. You can also put on zero suppression for leading or trailing. That way you don't have to mess with your precision settings if you don't want to. Click OK and click OK again. Here's my text. And there we go. It looks kind of small. So I'm going to need to scale this thing up just a little bit so we can see it, but that's fine. It still needs to be a little bigger. And here we go. That's almost big enough for what I want to do. I'm going to change the color. That white's kind of hard to see. And I'm going to make it bigger yet. There. So I'm doing this to make it easy. Now you'll notice there is a gray background around the text. Well, that's to tell you that it's a field. The gray background won't print. Trust me on this. It won't print. But this is just to let the user know that that is a field. Now, one of the really cool features about having this as a field is that it's reading the real-time area of this object. Now, if I change the shape of this object, the area is going to change. And once I refresh my screen, that number automatically updates. That's one of the best features of fields and why I love using them so much. It will give you lots of different types of information. And you can put them in just about anything you want.
and you can use more than one field per object as well. So if I insert another field, you can see that's the object. You can also get plot information. You can go to other. This is where you'll get system variables. So you can find the current state of some sort of system variable in a CAD file, or you can go to sheet sets. We'll talk about sheet sets later on, but sheet sets really use and are built around using fields for a lot of their information. But most of the time I'm using the objects and the document and the sheet set options. Now let's open up another file. Let's look at the title block .dwg file. So if you go to the 24 by 18 paper space tab, if you're not there already, you'll see a little title block that I have here. Now this title block is a block. It's set up for a C size sheet, or in this case, it's 24 by 18 inches. Now the title block here is an attributed block, meaning that it has text placeholders where I can go and fill them out. Now, if you select and double click on the block, that'll bring up the attribute editor and I can type in all the information I want. I can also type in a field. So if I see here, I have number of sheets, sheet date, sheet number, drawn by, things like that, client name, sheet title. I can do a lot of different things here. So if I go here to sheet title, you can see this has a little placeholder. That's for a field. Now this is set up to work with sheet sets. But if I double click on it, and I go to document, and I go to file name, it'll display the file name. I can display the path and the file name or just the name itself. And this is the little preview of what it looks like. I can turn off or on the file extension if I want to, click OK, and here it is displayed right up here. So if I rename this file, that'll automatically update, it'll tell me what file it is, and that's just another use of fields.